Y'all right, fuckers and fuckettes. Now, I mean, you can Google around about uh, the NSA now wants our passwords, and so does the DOJ, and several of the larger in internet companies have been rejecting them without a warrant. But, um, and, you know, the one article, the guy said, yeah, you need a billion and a, even with the salt, you need a billion and a half dollar machine to crack the password. Well, okay, the NSA spent more than that, number one. Number two, uh-uh. That guy's using off-the-shelf, straight-out-of-the-book methods. And any little script kitty on hostelavista.com is kind of laughing at him, going, yeah, right, fucker. <laughs> You think I'm kidding. Um, but you see, the thing is, is by allowing the NSA and continuing to fund them, and they're literally recording everything that we do on the Internet. Every keystroke we make, everything we post on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. So let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen of the House and Senate, what protections are going to be put in place to protect us, the American citizen, from their misuse of our passwords? Because we've already, you can go anywhere on YouTube, you can go anywhere on the internet and pretty much Google around for less than three minutes and find thousands of articles related to corruption in our government. So, what's to stop them if they've got our passwords from doing shit on our accounts? From using our credit cards? What penalties are going to be there for those NSA agents or DOJ, it doesn't matter, if they misuse that information in any way, shape, form, or fashion whatsoever? And I don't want to hear about probation. I don't want to hear about fines. I want to hear about prison time with no option. No other option. Guaranteed that if they do misuse, they will go to prison. And it won't be Congress dragging their feet for years like they've done with, you know, Fast and Furious or months like they've done with Benghazi. I want to know what protections Congress is going to put in place for us. Now, I pose no physical threat to any politician in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I think this is a fair question, which is why I'm posing the question. I don't want to hear about DOJ guidelines. I want to see some actual laws. What is being done to protect the American citizen from the NSA? from the DOJ if they get access to our passwords. Is there anything being done? I'm not seeing any real legislation. I'm not even <clears throat> I'm not even seeing proposals outside the draft stage. I'm not even hearing about them. That's quite alarming. What kind of congressional oversight will there be over the NSA? I mean, currently, it's really hard to find where Congress is even able to get any information out of the Department of Justice, much less the NSA. As far as getting stuff from the Department of Justice or DOD, I mean, from what I've seen, y'all get a lot of blacked out stuff. And that's congressmen saying that Congress can't get a complete page. It's mostly blacked out. Now, I can understand we the people not being able to get it because it's, you know, top secret, classified, whatever. But when Congress can't get a clear and concise, unredacted document, that tends to cause concern in the average mind. It tends to make us wonder, is there any oversight? Is there any form of control over these people that are involved in these operations? Is there any protection for the American citizen if they use our information to commit a criminal act? 
I think these are valid questions, and I'd really, truly like an answer. You know, whether it's from a viewer or whether it's uh, from someone up on the hill, you know, what is there to put our mind at ease? What is there going to be to put our mind at ease? Yep. Attention. Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckets later.